So, this is charged, the closed spring. When it discharges to close, you see that the trip spring is not charged. It will charge the trip spring when it discharges to close. And then this motor back here will spin and it will recharge the closed spring again. So when it closes, this will be charged for a trip and then that will charge again so that it has a close and then another trip left in it even without any power. So this is all gonna happen pretty quickly. That's open, it's gonna come closed. That's gonna discharge, that's gonna charge, and then the motor is gonna recharge that. All set? Coming closed. Now that's charged, that's charged, and we are in the closed position.